Here is a little video showing you how I make these crochet chains. This is the side through which I pull the loops and this is the opposite side. Actually, this one I pulled through on this side, but this is the, these sort of depressed channels show the back of the other side. And I like having a bit of textural contrast, so that's why I have this sort of facing thing here. All right. Okay, I have one chain left to do, this one. So the side I wanna pull the yarn through is facing me. I'm gonna choose where I wanna start, which is up here at the very end. And I am gonna hold my yarn in the back of the piece and Pull a loop through. Oops. It can be very tricky getting started. All right. So see, here's my chain. I'm just gonna keep going. Make sure, it, it can be a little tricky at first, making sure that when you pull your yarn through the next stitch, you don't go through the exact same hole you just went through. So always double check to make sure you're going through the next hole down, like so and then pull through. And this is just single crochet with a strand of the main garment between each single crochet. So it just sits on top. Again, make sure that you don't go, like the, usually the hole you just went through will be the biggest because it's kind of stretched out. So you wanna see that there's like a bar of yarn uh, like a you know like to the next row up or round or whatever row <laughs> and put through the next row up oops my yarn slips off all the time let me just show you for a minute what it might look like if you accidentally went through the same hole a couple of times so i'm going to purposely go through the same hole well actually first here's what it looks like if you go through each successive hole, right? So now let's say that I accidentally go through the same hole again, and then I don't pick up on this until I'm a couple of stitches down. Okay, so I'm gonna quickly go through a couple more. All right, now, See, there's a little bump there, and usually the tension on that second one is just ever so slightly tighter and smaller. And so sometimes when I do this, it's not until I look at the sort of, you know, hold it at a distance for myself and look at it that I notice, oh wait, there's a little break in the pattern. And almost always, sure enough, it's an accidental second pass through the same hole. So I'm just gonna pull it out and resume. And that is basically how I do it.